Anti-extension car training. What is it and why is it so awesome for pole dancers? Let me explain. So uh, when we are dancing on the pole, um, we tend to have, uh, we tend to do a lot of back bends. Yeah, so our spine is in extension when we do back bends um, and it's really awesome to have that flexibility. It makes moves look really pretty on the pole. Um, but we also, as well as being able to bend in the back, we also need lots of core strength to resist that extension when we need to. So for example, if you think about something like a shoulder mount, um, if I go into my shoulder mount hang position from here, uh, you can see that my back is being forced into extension um, by gravity, uh, by the weight of my legs. Um, you know, it's forcing my back to round to arch. Um, so I need lots of core strength if I'm gonna lift up uh, into my shoulder mount so you'll see that if I lift, ooh, <laughs> um, my back is not in an arch position, same on the way down. I'm using lots of anti-extension core strength to keep that nice and stable and keep my spine safe. Uh, so that's why it's really important. How do you train it? Dead simple. Uh, the, ba the most simple way to train um, anti-extension is in a basic plank position. So either on your elbows or with your arms fully extended, if you are really strong in your plank and your plank's dead solid, then here are some other options you can try. Ab rollouts, an awesome anti-extension core exercise. And I'm gonna show you a few different variations. The first one, the one that I always start people on is uh, the Swiss ball variation. So the setup is very similar for all of them. Uh, for this one, you're on your knees and you're gonna come onto the ball. You want your elbows on the ball um, and your elbows are directly in line with shoulders at the start position. And can you see that my hips are ahead of my knees? So I'm not back here, I'm starting here with the weight into my elbows. And I'm thinking about avoiding that extension in the spine. So I'm pulling in and keeping this braced and engaged and really, really pulling in through the core. So all I'm gonna do from here is I'm gonna roll forwards, but I'm gonna keep that spinal position exactly the same. So roll forwards and back. So I'm just rolling the ball along my forearm like this. Um, and you should really, really feel it in the core. It's a lot harder than it looks. Um, so that's the first one. Uh, second one is to use um, an ab wheel. Uh, this thing looks, you know, like I've bought it at about two o'clock in the morning on here of an infomercial or something like a shake weight but it's actually really awesome and um, so yeah and you can pick these up really cheaply i think this was about six quid so uh and exactly the same principles this is a lot harder because my arms are fully extended um but the same setup principles apply so i'm gonna have my arms straight with my shoulders in line with my hands my shoulders are over the wheel and my hips are forward of my knees and then I'm going to brace the core, avoid that extension, and I'm going to roll out as far as I can. I'm going off camera and I'm coming back. So it might only be a really small movement. Like you might only go this far. Um, it's very hard. Um, so you start off small and build up to being able to fully extend uh, eventually. So yeah, if you don't have one of those, like magic, you can use a barbell. Uh, if you've got an Olympic barbell that um, rotates, um, you can do the same thing. And again, same, same, same set of position. So knees on the floor, shoulders are over the bar, hips are forward of knees, pull the spine in, avoid that extension of the spine and roll out from there. Uh, and the great thing about doing these with a barbell is that you can get the hands wider, which means that you engage the lats a bit more. Uh, Okay, and then final example is, I'm gonna have to move you around. Final example is a suspension trainer version. Same thing applies on the suspension trainer, same setup position, hips forward of knees, hands um, you know, in a straight line. So imagine you're in a plank position, hands are in line with the shoulders, and then from here, really brace the core. So you're trying to avoid the arch in the lower back, so tuck under. And then you're going to just extend the arms, drop down, push to lift, maintaining that nice strong core position. 
and that's it i hope you found that useful if you've got any questions just drop me a comment and if you try it let me know i always like to know if you give it a go i'd love to know your thoughts um, and how you find it and yeah if you're not sure about technique or anything just ask